Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? I hope you're well. Hope it's all going, Jake, in your world. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oh, we have rain. Now, it's kind of light right now, so it's not like rain, rain. It's like sprinkles, but the ground's like consistently evenly wet, so it's kind of like, I think, rain. And it's supposed to be here all day, so it's kind of exciting. I'm hoping it's like rain, rain. You know what I mean. You know, where you can like hear it and stuff, not just like say, oh, it's like misty outside. I know. And so it was interesting. So I've been waiting for today for the rain and I was like, oh, I guess I'll put on my, I have these Uggs I had from years ago and they're like leather, like smooth leather, not the suede type leather, boots, and boots with the fur, apple bottom jeans, not. Okay, so <laughs> they were my boots with the fur and that's the one I usually wear out in the rain. And so I was gonna put those on this morning and then I was like looking in the back of my closet, I'm like, what are those? And it was like, oh, that's a pair of Doc Martens. Oh, what? And I I had a pair of Doc Martens back there in the corner of the closet. I had no idea I had because a year ago this time, I wasn't leaving the house. And I was like, oh, what? It's like Christmas in my closet. Let me tell you, I was like so excited to find those in there. Cause it's like no point in getting dressed up, going out, doing anything. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have those docks in my closet. They're practically new. And I was just looking at docks the other day when we went out shopping at the mall. That wasn't the other day. I think that was weeks ago now. So my time's still off. But I saw those docks and I was like super excited. So I'm wearing them today. <laughs> Except the only problem is I have like shoelaces in there that are super, super long. Like I could probably lace these things twice. So I do need to adjust the shoelace length. That's a little mucho because... I'm, uh, these get untied. I'm going to trip on them and I'm already a klutz. So we don't need that. That's a mm -mm, no bueno. So there's that. Um, anything else going on? I don't know. Not that I can think of. I'm just, you know, same old stuff, different day. Um, before we get into our topic, we're going to do our little crystal chit chat. It's just going to be real quick, real brief. Um, anyhow, a turquoise. So I don't, the only turquoise, someone was asking about turquoise and the only turquoise I have in the shop are bracelets. I don't know. I'm going to hope that's sort of showing elastic bracelets. And remember I said, these are like, I have small wrists. So these are for small wristed people and they, um, Ooh, they're cold. A little cold in the morning for the stones. Uh, turquoise. It's all about truth. This is to help you to speak up, to share your voice, um, to communicate. So say what it is in your heart. So I have these turquoise bracelets. They are in the shop. Um, and up until now, until December 13th, you get a free piece of rose quartz. It's a rose quartz chunk. Apparently my skin and rose quartz are the same tone. Wouldn't that be interesting for a makeup line? Like, okay, back maybe it's two years ago, there was this uh, color pop eyeshadow line called uh, Jaded or So Jaded or something. And it was like crystal colors and, you know, crystal tones and all that stuff. Although there was, you could tell that somebody wasn't like super in the crystals, like uh, kind of in the crystals when they did it, naming some of these ones, the shades, but I love that palette. Um, I wear it like all the time. I'm just like, it's going to run out and I'll be all like sad times at Ridgemont high because there's a purple in there. The one I'm wearing today, I'm all, ur, ur, ur. <laughs> that's like, don't tell me I'm the only one who can't like control my eyes very well. I look like I've already been three sheets to the wind and it's like, we're not even at nine o'clock yet, bro. In the morning. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, shades, rose quartz. They have a shade on there. I believe it's some type of rose quartz color. I don't know. It comes out. I like it. But anyway, lost the plot. Let's move on. Let me switch my screen over here because what are we talking about today? One of you lovelies left me a comment about doing a reading about good old John of God. You hear everybody knows that person. That's another one of Oprah's favorite people. So John of God, if you're not aware... He's, uh, he's in the clink clink now, okay? 
he's not coming out. He's, uh, I think he's like 77, 78. I don't know. He's, he's not coming out. Here's what I found is a little synopsis. Okay. We're just going to say, we're just call him John now at this point. I don't want to have to keep going through his thing. His real name is, I don't even know how to say his first name. It's J O A with the N Y A and then an O. I don't know if Jow, I don't know. Uh, Tahiria de Faria. I don't even think I'm saying any of that right. Maybe the last part, but that's his real name. It's not John of, you know, ay Dios mios. It is not that. Um, that's oh my God. John of oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's, never mind. Okay, so John does not heal anyone. He is a trans medium who channels over 60 entities who take over his body and do the work. The actual energy for the healing comes from the people who visit the casa in Brazil, the energy of the casa itself being built over crystal formations, and the actual healing is a gift from the divine. Okay. First, okay, so he says he's a trans medium. He's channeling over 60 entities, and they are the ones who take over his body and do his things for him, whether he's claiming there are surgeries or healing you know, like with his hands, whatever he's claiming to do. That I am not going to say like is impossible. I No, I'm not going to say that's impossible. It, whether or not he's doing it, we'll find out. Um, I do believe that you can um, do healing. You know, it's kind of like uh, you read the Bible and God's like, you can do what I do. Jesus said that, right? So I, I don't, I'm not going to doubt that. Um, whether what he this guy was doing because that's a whole another story because then you come to find out he's a dirty bird and he's been doing very very no bueno muy mal stuff and um so anyway he he talks about that that the part of it like if there is a i believe it's a netflix netflix documentary you can watch where it talks about his like casa or whatever where a lot of his crimes were committed and he says it's built on a crystal formation i that's something i would need to investigate i mean essentially the entire planet is a, a crystal but whatever um it's kind of like some of this i'm wondering how much is this marketing terms and stuff to get people down there yada yada i mean it got oprah there now this is the part that's interesting to me so i was just doing a quick search because I was like, I don't know a lot about this guy, except that he's no buen. He, Oprah, I guess, went to see him, and, and I don't remember. I think she had shows with him. I think she did. And I don't know if she got healed. She went to him for a healing or not, maybe. Um, but you would go to his casa. You would wait in line. He would essentially, from the Netflix documentary, it would said he would look out. He'd see the pretty girls, and whichever was a pretty girl, he would tell them, you have abilities, too. Come meet me later. Of course. They go meet him later in his little apartment, whatever, at the casa, and then he does horrible, no good things to them, which I'm not going to say, but you can go look up. And so that was his thing, his how he uh, snagged these uh, victims. Anyway, um... So I want to look into, was he a psychic trans medium? Was he? Was he an actual healer? Like, did he start out good and then he went bad? Um, now, it said that Wayne Dyer went to go get healed by him. Wayne Dyer has since passed. I believe it's 2015. We're in 2021. Okay. I was trying to figure out how much time that's been. Um, so Wayne Dyer supposedly went to heal him, but Wayne Dyer's a morto now. So I'm wondering... Uh, did it prolong his life? Um, now, the other thing is that they say that uh, John, good old John, our trans medium, he, how am I going to say this? So there was teenagers that were on his property somewhere, not allowed to leave. You kind of know that what that word is, starts with an S. Um, in any way, you know, that word. Okay. So there's these teenagers that are trapped on the property, not allowed to leave that were getting, um, impregnated with ninos. And then the ninos 
are, um, you know, basically merchandise and being sold. So here's another interesting data point where it brings in our good friend uh, BJ, you know, Mr. Clinton. And he, I think, said that uh, John was a healer of his. Now, I haven't found this. I saw that this was something people searched a lot. They looked for John and they looked for Bill's name together. So there's something to it. I don't know. I would have to dig deeper. If you know, you can share in the comments below. Anyhow, um, so that's interesting, which makes me wonder, did John, who has these... Uh, teenagers at his place that can't leave that are essentially machines of little ninos um and then we're like making turning the ninos into those merchandise is that going through the um you know those special bill and hills operation that's how i'll say that interesting idea which doesn't shock me. Um, so let's just get into it. Let's look into this stuff because I'm starting to like think this is like, you know, what is, what is the coincidence here that Oprah keeps getting associated with all these dirty birds? I think there's no coincidence here, but let's go over. Oh, here you go. Look, ah, how pretty. Do, 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 do. All right. We'll just set those there. So pretty. All right. I want, let's see first, was he an actual, we'll say psychic trans medium, okay? All right, so the way I'm going to get this is like, yes, but, so yes, this was something that he did. He had abilities, some abilities, whatever he was pretending or portraying them to be as much grander than they were, okay? Um, it's a lot of times where um, he had opportunities, I guess, to uh, develop his abilities. It wasn't something that he was actually um, fostering um, it was almost like there's at some point someone had offered to help him grow in his abilities or learn how to use them or whatever. That was something he wasn't interested in. Um, so it was almost like he was going into being this trans psychic medium blind. Um, it would be almost to me saying that if someone was going to start working, um, they want to start working on their psychic abilities and they just whipped out a Ouija board and didn't have any, you know, circle of protection and all this stuff. They just don't know what they're doing. And they're going to the, the board and da -da -da, and oh, here comes El Diablo. And like, how'd that happen? Gosh, I don't know. That kind of thing. That's how this feels like he got into this. There was no protection. It was kind of like, I'm just getting in there and whatever comes through, comes through. So what he's channeling, I, I would not even want to think that it's all safe that's how i'll say it i i that i'm not quite sure of here but it looks like there's no protection it's just like yeah i'm channeling stuff but it's also like he had some abilities that other people didn't have but it wasn't harnessed it wasn't yeah and at some point he was looking at how he was going to monetize this okay I don't know if he this is interesting okay this does not feel like divine energy that was he was working with okay but it was that it's divine energy that I'm going to market it as such hence his name um, so then people buy into this okay And at some point, I think he was made well aware of the entities that he was working with. And 
we had the a tower moment here and he had to make a choice and it was kind of like well, I uh, this feels like this was early in the career. Well, I have I you know these entities are helping me make some money. I'm gaining traction, I'm making a name for myself, but they are El Diablos maybe mixed in here, which I think a lot of it is. It doesn't like Anyway, and he had to decide how he wanted to move forward and he decided to keep going with it. So, um He knew, sneaky snacker. He knew what he was getting away with. This was very much like, I know this is not going to end well. Like these influences are not going to end well. And apparently he had some idea he was doing some legal shenanigans, allegedly for entertainment purposes. But it was kind of like the, the amount of marketing, the amount of things that I can do with this transmedium ship stuff. I don't care. I'm I'm just going forward with it. Okay. Please hold. This is my protection candle. I already lit my white protection, my white light candle, but this is my protection candle. So okay. I'm just gonna put that over here. Cause this got dark and this is not good. I don't, I, this guy's super no bueno. <sighs> All right, next. I am shocked. I don't know why I'm shocked. I shouldn't be shocked, but oh yeah. All right. So now was he a healer? Like, like what was he doing? Like, is he, you know, Wayne Dyer went to him. What was he doing when he was doing this healing? Was he, like, you know, sprinkling the, the seed of El Diablo into everyone? Like, what is he doing during these healing sessions then? Because it's like, it, it's, uh, is it healing because it's like people who go there, they have the um, genuine desire to get healed, and it's like a, they heal themselves? Or is this, he's, he's healing them, but it's healing them with, uh, El Diablo's seed. I, okay, let's see what, what's going on with the healing. That popped up in case anybody's interested. I'm not going to take it sloppy shuffle, but. Speaking of sloppy shuffle. Hmm. Okay. Yes, there was healing going on, but the healing that was going on was done by God. So good one over evil in terms of the genuine intentions of the people that came there. The people that came there came there with um, uh, God's love, God's energy into this place. There was enough of these people there to overwhelm. So that's God's love that was healing through him, even though that wasn't, this guy was just like a sloppy tool, right? It, it's like, it's okay. God used him without him knowing kind of thing, like bypass the El Diablo side somehow. Um, and to get the healing, it's almost like this was a method to reinforce the faith of the people who were coming to this other guy. It's the best way I can say it. So in the healing, the way I'm getting it here is the healing isn't the healing that you're thinking it's the healing. It's not by this guy. This guy is just a vehicle. He's a vehicle to get their faith back on target, on track, on whatever. It's almost like, you know where it says like in the scripture, like ask and, and ye shall receive? It is very much ask and ye shall receive. And this was just the vehicle to pop, pop their faith into gear. Okay. It was kind of like you already believed it was going to happen with this guy. And so it did. 
and just this guy is the way to get you to be stronger in your faith. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Now there's like some people here though that went and they were kind of like not totally buying into it as well. We have the hangman. There's like, you know, trying to wait and see. And apparently like even the doubters that gave them some mustard seed of faith. So, okay. So whether this guy, Snow Bueno guy knew or not, God was still working e even though this guy's intentions were not pure. Okay. Now, was Wayne Dyer actually healed by this guy? Or is this more of the same thing where Wayne Dyer just had a belief that he was getting healed and so therefore he had some relief, although he eventually passed. I'm not quite sure what he had, but he passed anyway. So did whatever John did, did it help Wayne Dyer? I don't think it did. I don't think there's anything that he did that helped prolong uh, Wayne Dyer's life in terms of like, I don't know. Did Wayne Dyer pay him for this? This feels like there's some type of financially beneficial thing here to John that came out of this. I don't know if this is like he's getting promoted by Mr. Dyer. Dyer? Dyer? Dyer. I don't know if he got promoted by him. Or what? Um, but it, it's like, come down. Yeah, we're going to work together and we're going to like use our powerful spirits to manifest some healing. It feels like there's definitely some mm, transactional stuff going on here, okay? Um, it feels like Wayne's just, you know, feeling like I need this healing. It's like almost like I'm going to try anything at this point. So I'm not quite sure if this is like... Perhaps he had the big C and it's like going anything at this point to help me is what I'm going to try. Um, and he's just like waiting and waiting on this results and trying to see that there's some like marked uh, healing. And um, and it's almost like I feel like John is very... Um, short with Wayne, very matter of fact, very, very much not healing, like telling him before he comes down, like, oh yeah, we're going to work together to heal you. When he gets down here, he's like, well, you do X, Y, Z, and then it'll work. Like it's very cold. It's not healing. It's not, it's almost like Wayne Dyer's not his type. He's Wayne Dyer's not a hot chick. So it's kind of like, all right, come down here. You you can't really do anything for me. I'm already going to get some other benefit from you. His, John's intention with Wayne is not of healing. It's kind of like, well, well, let's wait and see if your belief is strong enough to make this happen. All right. Next. Did John sell Bambinos? Did John facilitate, did John facilitate Bambino's uh, on the market? I guess that's the way we're going to say. Did John uh, peddle, I guess we'll use that word, peddle Bambino's to the marketplace? Yes, he did. He had, he was working together with someone else. So this is not like he came, they, they were coming to him like he's a factory. Um, like, hey, bring us what you got. And he's like rushing it. Like we're low on Ninos. And he's like, oh, I've got a supply of them for you. So he, he's got a supply. And then, but here's a weird thing. Like he's 
he's working with the we'll call, say the distributor. We'll see if the you know who's or the distributing. He's working with the distributor here and bringing in the the ninos, right? But he had some other he wanted to get in. He just didn't want he didn't want to just supply the merchandise. He also wanted to um partake in the stuff that they do with bambinos and ninas and ninos and he and he was like I, I got some more ideas I could like speed up production of certain things if if you'd like help me but they're like no 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 we don't need that no thank you no 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 we just we just need the merchandise we'll facilitate the rest of the things with the merchandise that we need to do okay ay 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 all right it how am I Bill and Hill we'll just the Hill and Bill were they business partners we'll say it that way with John it doesn't look like it that was not his main partner or his direct connection um if if he was uh, exporting merchandise to that thing of Bill and Hill, um, he wasn't aware of it. There was some other person he was uh, dealing with um, and made it to be known explicitly, you are not dealing with the Hill Bill. You're not dealing with them. Um, and... I think that's where then it's like he's, he's still like, okay, well, I'm putting all this work in, but I'm still trying to come up like how I can be my own master of the universe in this arena here. Because um, he's he's got his supply of merchandise. It's churning. And it was almost kind of like, oh, I didn't know I could be turning this into a business. Work from home? Wow, thanks. Like, sick level to bazillion right and but yeah it's like if he was it was not known to him let's see what else we get like he's in the dark about it like he doesn't really know who his partners are Something here happened with his dealership, as we'll call it. Something happened here with his dealership where, you know, I, it's almost like he was like, again, he wanted he wanted a bigger piece of the puzzle. Like, it wasn't just, I don't want to provide just this one piece of merchandise. I want to provide these extra things, which we can all extrapolate what those other things are. He, he was looking to diversify his products, product line. But then the distributor, whatever's not having it. So there was some fights about this. Oh, and then he wanted to like go out away from that distributor and start another one, go and do another distributorship. And for, again, looking to make money. Oh, here we go again. And then it's like, it looks like he, looks like it didn't, he couldn't get that, that type of business off the ground. It was a, he was trying to get that business with the Ninos off the ground, but it wasn't like going as well as he thought. He was like losing money on this now. But it doesn't I it doesn't look like it's uh them. Surprisingly. There must be another player he was dealing with. <sighs> Allegedly. So alright, well that was a no bueno gross thing. I mean, I'm thank you for suggesting it. Thank you.
you know who you are. Um, but that, I, hold on, please hold. We got to sage this out. That's, oh. Okay, that's horrible. All right, with that, please go say your prayers. Go cleanse yourself. Go smudge yourself. Go all of that stuff. And um, I'll see you next time. Adios.